Hello. I have a garbage pail full of coffee. Let's begin. Today we're going to do... You know what? I'm going to be right back because I don't even know what I'm recording today. Alright, I'm back. I apologize for my unprofessionalism. Today we're going to do timers. And the reason we're doing timers is because... I had someone hit me up about them, but they're also just a really useful thing to know. And, um, so the whole idea with timers is anything we would want, like a delay between something, uh, you want to use a timer, so, I don't know, if you want a gun to only fire 300 times per minute, then you'd use a timer to do it. If you want a, um, huh, I mean, anything, really, that, uh, <laughs> that you'd want to do at a certain interval. Mostly I use it when I'm implementing guns, but I'm sure there's other things. Maybe, um, oh here's a good one. Say you've got a switch, and uh, after you've just switched a light off, you want the player to have to wait a couple seconds before they can switch it back on again, or something like that. Uh, you'd use a timer for that exact purpose. Now you could use delta time, but it's a little bit sketchy to do that. Delta time's good for some stuff, but timers are good for other stuff, so, yeah. Anyways, someone asked me to do this. I forgot your name, but, um, yeah, we're going to do timers. So, I got a first-person project called Timers, and I'll be right back once this is generated. So, let's talk about the use of timers. Um, so, say you're building your game, and you have a gun. And, in fact, <laughs> conveniently enough, we already have a gun, so if I... Go into the game, I can uh, shoot. Cool. Um, so let's say that I'm making some arbitrary game and I only want my gun to be able to fire once every three seconds. Don't know why, that's just what I want. So let's um, show you guys how to do that. I'm going to use a timer to achieve that. So if we go into the character here and we go uh, into the .h file, we'll need to add some stuff. We'll need to add a variable to store whether we can fire or not, uh, a timer manager, and a function to reset the ability to fire. And you'll see what I mean in a sec, so let's go and add some comments here. Um, let's see, true if the player can fire, false otherwise, and this is going to be bool b can fire. We're also going to make a timer handle, um, and we're going to call that uh, fire timer handle. We'll go fire delay timer handle is probably a better name. Handles the delay between shots. Finally, we're going to add a function that will reset the ability to fire. So when we fire, B can fire is going to be equal to false, and we need a function that sets it back to true. Uh, so to do that, we'll go resets the player's ability to fire. Void reset fire. Brilliant. So we're done in terms of creating variables. Uh, quickly just right click on this and then go quick actions create definition and it will create a definition for you instead of having to type it out yourself and there we go so um, by default B can fire is going to be equal to true because right off the bat you want the player to be able to fire right that makes sense um, so inside of on fire I'm going to add an if statement here I'm going to say only fire a gun if B can fire is true. And I'll put the entire function inside of this if statement. So now uh, we can only fire if B can fire is equal to true. Uh, but this isn't going to help us yet. This isn't going to let us just um, only fire once every three seconds. We need to actually link the timer to it. So off the bat, if we can fire, set B can fire equal to false, right? Um, however, we want to put that back to true after three seconds so that the player can shoot again. 
So at the bottom of this function, uh, we're going to add, let me see here, uh, we need to get the timer manager, so get world, uh, get timer manager, uh, set timer, we need to pass the handle in, so fire, delay timer handle, this, the function we need to call, which is uh, reset, what is it? Ah, oh, sorry, a timer is character, because that's the name of my project. Um, reset fire. By the way, guys, I'm working in a new project. I just cleared everything out. Then we need the delay, and because we don't want this to loop, um, we'll just set that to false. If we wanted it to loop, we could set that equal to true. Mm. So now, after three seconds, it's going to call reset fire, and all we want to do inside of reset fire is just say b can fire equals true. And if we want, we can also clear the timer. So we'll say get world timer manager dot clear timer uh, fire delay. Beautiful. And I think that's it. I, I think it might be that easy. Uh, fire delay is not working. Oh, I didn't call it fire delay. I called it something else. What did I call it? Fire delay timer handle. Right. So we'll save that, go back into the uh, engine and compile. And now we should be able to only fire once every three seconds. And uh, we'll see how it works out. So we'll go play, I'll shoot, and as you can see I'm clicking. Here's me clicking. <laughs> um, and yeah, I can only fire once every three seconds. So there you go, that's kind of the the example of how you would use a timer. Anything where you want to restrict the player to only doing something every you know, few seconds, or um, maybe you've got a potion and you only want the player to be able to drink the potion once every 30 seconds because uh, it's overpowered or something otherwise, you know. Anything like that you would use a timer for. So that's timers, guys. It's that easy. Uh, you know, you can use them anywhere, really. Uh, anyways, I'll see you in the next video coming really soon. See you guys later.